March 13th. Friday of the second week of Lent. Genesis chapter 37 verses 3 to 4, 12 to 13a, 17b to 28a and Matthew chapter 21 verses 33 to 43, 45 to 46. Instruments of God. In both the readings of today, we find that the beloved son is ill-treated and discarded by the ones who should take care of them. Both the readings end in tragedy. But, if we continue to read the passages, we could find that the misfortune turns salvific. Joseph becomes the savior of Israel. Jesus is killed but, he rose and saved the world. Joseph was sent by Jacob, to see if his brothers were safe. His brothers, overcome with jealousy tried to destroy him. The original plan bestowed on Joseph was to see to the safety of his brothers. That plan assigned to him by his father, was preserved by the All-Father, and in the longer run, Joseph became the guardian and redeemer of Israel. I was sent ahead to preserve life. Gen 45.5 In the parable too, the only son was sent to see to the wellness of the tenants. Instead, he was killed. Yet, God effected salvation through the death of his only son. God has plans for us, plans for our welfare and not our destruction, Jair. 29.11 We may not understand the why of certain things. Not that sin is God's doing. But, even in such adverse situation, God can effect salvation. We see that the sinners are punished, but, God makes everyone an instrument of salvation. Some as positive examples and others as warnings. May we become positive instruments for the salvation of the world, positive 